Bye bye, Mariah. We might see you again. <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it is just me as Justin is out of town, so I thought I'd take this opportunity and go ahead and share the story of me moving to Alaska at the age of 19. So without further ado, let's jump right in. As most of you know, Justin and I dated long distance for about a year before we were in person. And I remember the phone call where it all went down and we decided that I was going to be the one moving to him instead of him moving to me in Michigan. And I remember I'm, I'm listening to all of this and I just start crying and I'm literally getting emotional right now because why am I literally crying? Mariah, I was always the girl that always told my family I, would never move more than 20 minutes away. Naive, for sure, but I just never saw myself giving that up. My family and my friends I'm so extremely close to and thinking of giving that up and moving to some place I'd never been at that time. And I didn't know any of his family or his friends. It was just me moving for the one man that I loved. That sounds really dramatic, but I don't think people realize how far away Alaska is. It's not an easy trek whatsoever. It costs thousands of dollars to fly from the lower 48 to Alaska, so it's not possible to do all the time. <laughs> we're good. <clears throat> Where were we? And I did it. I have no idea who that girl was. <laughs> she was brave. <laughs> um, craziness. I'm trying not to be emotional. I'm not an emotional person, but my hormones are raging right now. So excuse me. <laughs> I remember being at the airport, getting ready to move, and my dad wore sunglasses. And my dad is not an emotional person but he wore sunglasses because he was trying not to make it obvious that he was emotional. And, oh, uh, guys, I promise you, I look like a crazy person with how emotional I am right now. I promise, I'm not usually like this. <laughs> I stood in line at security and tears streaming down my face just thinking, I am way too young for this. What am I doing? Did I make the right decision? <laughs> like, <laughs> what on earth is happening right now? It was actually a very Alaskan experience. Justin calls and he tells me, I have some bad news. There's a giant wildfire going on right now and it has just crossed over the highway that connects the airport from where he lives. So he could no longer drive to pick me up from the airport, which is about a three hour drive. So he's like, I've contacted someone I know in Anchorage. It's my minister and his wife, and they're going to pick you up and you'll spend the night with them and then you'll get a flight. And I know that that doesn't sound like a big deal. But my whole being was telling myself that entire day that, you know, I go from my family to Justin. It's just a couple hours. Okay, not a couple hours, just like 24 hours, but you know. <laughs> but I was gonna be okay. I was gonna be with my man again, reunited at last. Um, and then he tells me, oh no, you're meeting up with strangers. You're gonna spend the night at their house and then I'm gonna see you. So I started crying in the airport again because I'm so uncertain of what I was doing. And I sat down and I guess I left my phone on because I accidentally butt dialed my aunt. And she comes over the phone and it was the most innocent conversation. I mean, I wasn't spilling my guts to her or anything like that. But honestly, in that moment, I felt like that silly little, little butt dial was God telling me, you're not alone. It's all right. 
and after that i felt so much better and i met up with the minister and his wife and everything went smoothly they're the sweetest couple the next day they dropped me off at the airport again and i'm waiting for my plane in this tiny gate section like i mean it's so small it looks like a doctor's office it's teeny tiny there's only like each gate only has like six chairs it's so ridiculously tiny i've never seen anything like it at that point point. and i see all these tiny planes coming and i'm like oh, okay this isn't like a normal plane i'm getting on at that point i had no idea what i was getting myself into this tiny plane rolls up and it happens to be my plane and i get on it and i'm like sweating i was so excited and just so beyond ready to be united and in familiar places again and with familiar people again and there was Justin he was extremely tan the man is super good looking okay so muscular he had worked out a ton <sighs> ladies if you know you know my heart did a little skip and wow it was just the craziest feeling knowing that I was home and that was going to be my home. And fun fact, a little more uncertainty to add to the story. I actually had no idea where I was living up until that point where Justin picked me up from the airport. It was kind of tossed around that I could be living with his grandparents or I could be living with his aunt and uncle or maybe in a camper. It was kind of all over the place. So I literally had no idea where I was even going to be living because Justin and I saved sex for marriage so we didn't want to be living together. So he told me that I was going to be living with his aunt and uncle, which is actually right next door to where he grew up and he was currently living. Ended up working out super nicely. I honestly mainly spent like 99.99% .99 of my time at his house with his family and basically just slept at his aunt and uncle's house. <laughs> but honestly, I feel like I was like a really good house guest. Maybe they thought that that was like me Maybe that was like offensive to them. To be honest, I still don't know to this day. They're probably watching this. I am so sorry, you guys, if I offended you, but I was trying to be a good house guest. Now getting into how it actually was living so far away from everything that I knew, everyone was so kind. It was definitely interesting because I was meeting all these new people and learning to just live in a completely new environment and culture. But I feel like everyone just made the transition so smooth and it was just such an interesting time. It was weird because I was invited to all these different social events where I literally knew no one. I was invited to two or three baby showers during the time where I barely knew the person giving birth and then all these other people and of course justin's not there at those events so just just weird social situations that i normally had other people to like kind of mingle with um just learning to make new friends and start completely from scratch so that was a really interesting dynamic that um i guess i didn't think about beforehand some people might have perceived me as quiet I felt like I was pretty outgoing, but I didn't really know anyone, so I probably was more quiet than I thought I was. It was definitely an interesting dynamic as well, learning how to communicate with my family and make us feel like we're still connected and close to each other, even though we're thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles away, literally 4,000 miles, and just learning to be okay and not cry every time I missed out on a family or friend event that was happening down in the lower 48. One thing I really liked about it though was that it really helped Justin and I establish who we were as a couple completely separate from my family and his once he moved out and we got married. So that was a really nice platform to have to start completely over in all aspects of life. But I don't want to pretend like it was all positives. I mean, I really struggled with living far away from my family for a very long time and still do, for sure. I mean, it doesn't go away. It does get easier, but obviously there's still so much sadness I have that I'm here and they're there. And it's not just a simple plane ride or car ride away like most people have. It's just completely polar opposite sides of the world and so expensive to see each other. Honestly, I'm so thankful that I did it and I don't regret it, but that's not to say that I don't want things to change. And I personally believe what is life without the people that you love? So I'm so looking forward to the time where we can move back and just be closer to everyone and everything.
And if you're in the same season, my heart goes out to you. I feel for you. It is so extremely challenging, but can be rewarding. So my prayers are with you. Thank you so much for listening to me and my story. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Face in your face. Yeah, I think that's it.